Hi guys, so I'm back with another video. Um, I want my work jumper on because I'm going to work after this. Um, how have I been this week? I've been good, you know, mainly. I'm getting a lot better, being disciplined, doing what I'm supposed to do. So happy about that. Um, feeling good, especially today. I've been just getting loads of good news, making really good decisions for myself, and things are looking, things are up and vibes are high and i just have to be grateful for that so that is why you can see all my teeth and i'm smiling um, in today's video i'm gonna do this quickly but the other day i was at work and i was just talking to my colleagues they're super super cool and one of them like was just having a general conversation about the things that we want and places that we've come from and he was like emily like how do i manifest because you just seem like you know what you're doing and i was like do I? Then looking back through my old vision boards and stuff and my old journals about things that I wanted and seeing that either it's come true or it's like right here and it's coming and I can feel it and it's like nothing can stop me from having it. I'm like, okay, cool. Let me understand what tactics I use or how I understand manifestation, what it means to me and share that with you guys. So first things first, I wanted to go through because I had a conversation with one of my other friends that I used to live with and she was like, she doesn't believe in manifestation at all. And I was like, why? Like how? Like, it just sounded so negative to me. Like, how can you not? So the definition, there's many definitions of manifestation, but the one that like relates to what I'm talking about is to create something or turn something from an idea into reality. And that's basically what it is to me. So when she said that, like she doesn't believe in it, how can you not believe that you can turn that idea into reality that so what do you have ideas for anyway each to their own um how do i manifest so unconsciously i used to do this before and that's how but now i can actually say oh no i'm trying to manifest this so blah 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 so i asked myself three questions and i've done this the other day for like everything in life so i've done a mind map for the first question and the first question is what do i want and there you can put anything. I put like hair growth. I put like material things that I might want to manifest. Things within myself. Things within like my healing. I just put anything that I want in this life. Put it down. And that's why I've done it as a brainstorm. Then my second question is, okay, what is my goal for that thing and why? Like, why do I want that? What would that do for me? What, why would that? Why is that something that will benefit me or something that I want? And so I number everything in my brainstorm and I go through each one and I say, why do I want this? Like, what what does that mean for me? Um, and that gives me my why, my emotional reasoning behind it. Like, just maybe it's that you want to be proud of yourself. Maybe you're manifesting money so you can take care of your family, so you can be independent. Maybe you're manifesting, like... I don't know, but your why is so individual and specific to you. So the second question is basically why. And getting clear about the goal. So I can say what I want. I want... Um, I want a thousand subscribers on YouTube. So what? That's the goal. So uh, what I want is to be a YouTuber. My goal is to have certain number of subscribers blah, 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 maybe make a certain amount of money it depends on each of you obviously i'm not sharing what my goals are because you guys are going to see them come into fruition and then the third question is what steps can i take right now and it's very important the right now because often when we have ideas and stuff it's like okay i'm gonna wait until this i'm gonna wait until i get paid or until i have the money or until i have the time to do this but what small thing it can be a small thing. What can you do right now? There's things that you can do. So you just have to think and you go through each of the things again according to their number so that I can show you guys. So the first question I had like this. <laughs> the first question I had this mind map going on. I'm trying to show you without showing you what it says. I had this mind map going on and then for each thing on the mind map, I done like the number and wrote under it. And then for the third question again, what steps can I take towards that specific goal? 
and yeah there it is i got some really neat handwriting by the way <laughs> it's the i don't want you guys to read it but we need to see the structure that is funny um but yeah those are the three questions that help me to understand what it is that i want and what i need to do in relation to that that's the first half of it the second half of it is the belief it's the surrender it's the faith because after i do stuff like that i'm like okay cool i'm gonna do this and that means this is gonna happen but that's not how it works i don't get to decide the result the results happen how it happens but i just have to trust and have faith that the things that i want are gonna come to me and they don't always come how you expect them to come so this is why there's three important things that you need to do once you get clear on what you want and you know what you need to do when you're doing it you need to have blind faith so you need to believe that these things are going to come true for you everything's going to work out for you and you can have anything that you want of course you can it's your birthright you need to be present so you need to be aware of what you're doing aware of how you're spending your time are you doing the things that you said you're going to be doing how are you feeling because how you feel is very important how do you feel about your goals do you feel like they're reachable are you in like a really down period and you're just saying oh yeah i can reach them when you feel more down it's not that you can't reach your goals it's just that you're less likely to try harder and you're less likely to believe it's going to work and you're less likely to put all your heart and your soul into it and the third thing that you need to do is to be open to receiving and this is where the letting go and the surrender comes in because it might not come to you how you think it's going to come the things that i wanted I did not know it was going to come like this, but I'm very grateful because it came in such a beautiful way, like some of them. But like, I didn't know, like I had a plan, that plan, I don't know, it's God, it's, I, I'm on a new plan because I'm kind of, I still have a plan, that's the thing, and I know what I want, but I'm just kind of manoeuvring, going with the flow of life sort of thing. And being present so that I know what is an opportunity for me and what is actually, what sounds like an opportunity, but actually isn't something that I want to do. So that's why being present is very important. So remember to have blind faith. You don't know how it's going to, like, you don't know. All you know is what you want. That's it. To be present and to be open to receiving. So some, there are like techniques of manifestation other than like the three question things, those are just getting clear on what it is that you want and what it is that you can do towards what you want. And then whilst you're doing what you want, how you can continue to manifest that. I wrote, one, two, three. I wrote four examples of things, but there's so many. And so one is visualization. So literally closing your eyes and just imagining you are where it is that you wanna be or you have what you wanna have and how you will like be if it was true already and that's the energy that you should be embodying all the time you should be if you want to be a millionaire you should be walking around like you're already a millionaire and that's not like obviously each to their own i know personally as a millionaire i'm still going to be me i'm still going to be kind i don't mean in that i mean as in my confidence i mean as in walking with my back straight and my head up i mean as in how i'll be very giving so like just embodying some of the traits that i can now most of them anyway and embodying that person to become that person i have to be that person anyway um second thing was scripting so this is writing down what you want and describing it and so you might focus on one of your goals and just write like all the amazing things about it and how you're going to feel when you achieve it or when you have it or when it's nearly there and how you feel about it now third thing was mood boards vision boards mood boards love them absolutely let me see if i can pull out my scrapbook i can so without again revealing things that i'm manifesting from like when was this done this was done in January, no, October 2020. I've got to get up and stand back so that you guys can't see properly. Here's one. 
We've got this was 2021. We've got I think there's one more. This was oh I think this was at the start of 2020. This was my first vision board ever. Sorry, it's very long. <laughs> But yeah, basically you get the point. I'm not gonna show you my 2020 one because you know, but I need to update it because I'll be real. Some of the things I wanted at the start of the year, I don't want. And that's the thing, like regularly check in with yourself and again, be present. Cause you might be close to getting something and be like, hold on, is this actually what I wanted? Specifically when it comes to people, <laughs> you, might, you might be manifesting someone and you get close to them and you start dating them and it's like, hold on. Maybe this isn't what I wanted. And we change what we want all the time. And the thing is, we reach our goals and we want new, we get new ones. And my dad used to make me feel like that was a bad thing. But life is about growth. So of course I'm going to reach my goals and I'm going to set new ones. Otherwise I'm going to be sitting doing nothing. Like not resting, as in just sitting, like not aspiring anything for myself in life. And that just sounds so depressing. But yeah so mood boards vision boards and then the fourth thing i wrote down was affirmation so just saying to yourself that you are that thing or that you have that thing and again embodying that energy like it's already here and that is that on that and that is my video on manifestation and so obviously i can talk the talk the talk but as a bad girl you gotta prove so <laughs> um i'm not a bad girl but like you guys will see as things come into fruition i will show my vision boards and show you guys that yeah uh i did i did a thing well one of the biggest things that i manifested is that i since i first visited cov everyone's like ebony you love coventry when i first started coming to visit my friends i was here all the time the second time i came i stayed for like three weeks cool better than i was supposed to be in college but anyway <laughs> and now obviously i finished uni and i was like oh i want to stay in coventry i don't know how but i'm staying in coventry and to me that's a manifestation because i thought i was gonna have to go home as in in this very very last minute but no because i don't stop and when i say i'm gonna do something i do it so that's just one example this video was very excited it was very me and i'm just very happy with it but i hope that it was useful to you i hope that you can share this with people so that they can also be manifesting their goals because sometimes we like especially me like where i come from the situations that my friends or family might be in i want to be the savior for everyone but everyone has the power to save themselves and being everyone's savior can be so draining so why not just put them on game and everyone builds themselves up and everyone does their own thing and then no one has to like rely on nobody there doesn't have to be beef over money and there doesn't have to be all this oh she thinks she's better i don't think i'm better than nobody because i'm trying to achieve something with myself but that's just good politics man anyway um thank you for watching this video and i will see you in the next one